Hey, I'm JD. Welcome to my channel. So what the heck is this that just came in the mail? Looks like this might be something needed for my car. Look at this thing. I wonder where it goes. Let's go, uh, let's go have a look. Oh my God. I think it goes right in here. Look at this. It's a, uh, mid console arm pad. Wow, and it's in pretty crappy condition. Leather et or whatever. So we're going to replace that and see what that looks like. This is, of course, for a Honda Accord Coupe. So the theory is they just unscrew the old one. There's a bunch of screws here. And just screw in the new one. So let's just unscrew it. I won't show the unscrewing because it's pretty simple. So all I'm doing is removing these screws. And I can only show you the top ones because for some reason my camera holder won't show you the bottom ones. So which I don't care. So there's one screw and I gotta make sure that these screws are all the same type screws. So I don't have an issue when I replace it. Like the center screw is not different from the other screws. So it's, I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. So I'll take the center one out because I know that that one might be different. There we go, slightly adjusted. So I've got a center screw here I gotta remove. Let's remove that center screw. And I wanna see if that's the same screw. Uh, yes, it is. So we've got consistency. Well, the first thing I did was I moved this whole console forward because it just slides forward when you, when you detach it. I don't know why I'm puffing. <laughs> not what I would consider difficult work. I'm just trying not to lose any screws. Because I, I know if I lose a screw, oh, see that went down. If I lose a screw, I've got to go screw hunting, which is absolutely no fun at all. I know that because if you've watched my channel before, I'm a watchmaker. I'm not a car maintenance guy, and I don't even play one on TV. There you go. But in this instance, I am. And you people should be the same because if you're willing to, if you jump in and do it and you screw it up, then you go to the Honda dealership and say, look what I've done. And they go, what, who, what idiot did this? And then you blame it on your brother or something, right? Or your cousin. My cousin did this. My cousin, Jimmy did this right you know what jimmy is like so i think that's all the screws try not to lose this last one here and put that one down and now the question is will this thing come up up, 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 up. don't lose that screw you know what i think i'll do i'm gonna throw the screws into the cup holder now we don't have to worry about anything so let's put that down a bit and just pull up on it and see what happens it probably snaps up, I or snaps into place, I suspect, right? But is it from the front or the back, or do I need one of those hamburger removers, or how does this thing work? Let me play with it for a second, and I'll let you know. Oh, there we go. So I just did for, went from the side here, and just put my thingies in there, and there we go. Comes up like that, and you've got some crazy, funky mechanisms. Let me grab my camera and show you what it looks like. All right, there it is. So that's the back of the old one. It's pretty well stapled in there. I think the new one doesn't have as many staples. So but it looks like it's almost the same thing. Um, and you can see how crappy that looks, right? And there is the frame and you can see how dirty that looks. So I'm gonna have to clean that up a little bit. And there's the spring for it and some lube. And I can re-lube this or just spread it with my finger because it, probably needs a re -lubin, right? And I know that you do this and you can push it back, I think, or something, right? This thing here, is that cracked? No, that's the way it works. So there's a screw here that's in place right there and this sort of slides back and forth like that. And another screw there. So let's clean this up and get the new one. All right, there's the two, there's the new one. This is night and day night and day that's the difference between these two now if i flip them over 
Do they look exactly the same? Yes, they do. And right to this, these little date identifiers here, they're on both of them. So I, I don't think if this thing was manufactured by somebody else, the only difference is it says doesn't say Honda here, but it does say ABS, blah, 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 whatever. It does say base A and everything else. So I think this came from the same supplier that Honda had for these parts. So as you saw, a few less staples, which concerns me a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, but these staples are actually bigger. So there's an advantage. And there's some trim stuff right here that I'm not sure if I put that down, is that gonna get in the way? So I think I'll take a razor blade and just cut that off so it doesn't get in the way because these were cut off over here. That way I don't have extra material problems. And even in the corners here, they stapled that, they stapled this in the corner here, but they trimmed off the excess. And I don't know if that causes an issue when you put this thing down. Maybe not, maybe so, can't tell. And there's not much trimming along the edge here. It just goes, it just wraps in. So I can try to install it without trimming. Um, this one has nice trimming and just see the difference. Um, it locks into this hole here and there's some material that might get in the way of that locking. So I need to get that addressed. So I think a razor blade right now would be a good thing. So we'll get right back. All right, this is nicely trimmed along the edges here. I tried to expose all the things that need to be screwed in because uh, the uh, manufacturer kind of just put this on and didn't worry about that. So I've trimmed it and I had to tighten up a staple in the corner and we're ready to install it. Yes, we are. So the first thing I'm gonna do is push this back into position. I've cleaned this up a bit. So just push this back so it's all the way back and we've got some structure here. And then I gotta match this onto here and I think simply push it down. So we're gonna play with this while I'm pushing it down. I'm gonna try doing it from the front first, which seems to be the most complex side, and then work my way back to just push this thing right on. And it seems to be working. And snapping in nicely. And then what I wanna do now is replace those screws. I'm gonna put the first front screws in first, but not really tight, just in case, right? So just put them in like that and just want to make sure the holes are all lined up so I don't have an issue with that. So I'm just going to screw it in just a bit like that. And then the next one, and I want to have them kind of loose, I think, to make sure I get the side ones in and the back ones in and there's no issue. And this is a brand new middle rest. So it's going to, it's uh, got to find the right, it's got to kind of find its way into the right place, right? That's pretty good there. Um, and then there's a center one I need to get in, right? So I think I can pull this all the way up to get access to the center one. And there it is there. Now, hopefully, again, it all lines up properly. Otherwise, I is in trouble. So let's put this one in really carefully. Like that, is there a center post? Yes, there is. Look at that, man. Look at that. Now I'm going to do the, the end ones before I do the side ones to see if there's an end post. And there should be. But again, I might have to push this down a bit for it to line up properly. So I'll just push this a bit and then see if I can line that up. I may need to go off camera to do this. No, I think it found it found the post. Yeah, it found the post for sure. That's not just a piece of non-plastic in there. And then this side again. I'm wearing my watch making glasses, but I know I got to push it like that for it to find the post again on this side, right? Because it's slightly off. So that's perfect there. And will it hold? Will I turn this? Who knows? It's holding. I'm going to screw this in a little bit more than the other one. I think this one was good too. 
Let me put that, screw that in more as well. And you're just hoping nothing cracks. That's the, uh, the praying and the hoping and stuff. So, Because you want it to snug up against the frame. That one's good there. And then hopefully you can see this because And that one's good there. So only two screws left. <sighs> Telling me, Jerry, this is harder than watch work. I think it is anyway. It's not as complex for sure, but it's not easy. So oh, these ones should just line up. But I gotta, I'm not sure if I have to pull this one up or push it down. But it doesn't look that exposed, but it might be at an angle. Let's see. That ain't right. I think I'm gonna have to play with this one for a while to. All right, I dropped the screw, turn the video off, and finish it off later. I'll screw these ones in. Because I did drop a screw, which kind of pisses me off. But the side ones look like they're more complex than the top ones. There we go. That's nice and snug. And then this one seemed like it went in extremely well and what I'll do is close this and show you the outcome and I'll do the side ones later shouldn't be that bad but I want to do it without any stress there's the final center console I still have to screw in those side ones but I can do that later but there it is there like that push that all the way back like that and there you go fits perfect and it's way better than the old one and in case you're doing this kind of work and you're really sweating use some speed stick thanks a lot for watching my video